So the U.S. Department of Education tracks Pell Grant data by institution for every academic year. And the academic year for 2009-2010 just wrapped up on June 30th. And so a couple days ago, the U.S. Department of Education actually released information on how these schools did for the past year. And so a couple things stand out right away. First of all, increasing the Pell Grant award leads to a huge increase in the total cost of the program. Uh, for the last academic year, the Pell Grant went up about $619, which is a 13% increase. But the total program cost went up about $11.1 .1 billion, which is about 61%. So, I mean, I think it's pretty clear there that to continue to rely on the Pell Grant program as a way of combating cost of tuition increases is basically a money losing proposition. There's no way the federal government will be able to provide enough funds to keep up with that cost. But the other thing that really stands out is that the, a large portion of these Pell Grant dollars are going to for profit institutions. Uh, as of now, one out of every four dollars in the Pell Grant program goes to a for-profit school uh, led by the University of Phoenix, which became the first school in U.S. history to take in more than a billion dollars worth of Pell Grant disbursements in a given year. Um, in general, the sector overall took in 70% more dollars in the Pell Grant than they did the year before, and the year before that it was 40% higher. So you're really looking at a large explosion in costs of the program related to the for-profit institutions.